do here in the next couple of years. You know, watching him in the summer and talking to you guys even in October, you know, he, he, was, he was a freak. You guys talked about it. athletically, he was a freak. And then now, you look at the way he's playing, it seems like he's really stepping into that role where the future is huge and bright for him. Right, definitely, and we talked about that right when we got here, how, how much of an impact we could have. Um, and that starts with our communication with us freshmen coming in. And our communication's been really well, just really good since we got here. We've been talking a lot, we've been, uh, it, it helps on it transferring to the basketball court as well. Uh, when we have that communication off the court. Uh, but when he's playing like that, it opens up all our games as well. And it, it's, it, it's really hard to lose when he's getting every board, when he's dunking on everyone like he is. Things felt a little sped up the first half. I don't know if you, if you guys felt that way too. Is it a little bit trying to do too much to bury the Big Ten tournament, at least to start the game? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we we were a little upset with each other because we didn't obviously come out how we wanted to play for Indiana. Uh, but we had that chip on our shoulder when we, when we were selected on a selection Sunday. That, uh, we're, we're in here to win it, and we don't want to take any game for granted. Um, so, I mean, this is all adding experience for all the younger guys. And it's starting to show that we're starting to get a lot more comfortable with each other, especially in this type of atmosphere. At one time in the second half, you scored seven baskets. The team did. Six of them were layups during that span. What was what was, what was was happening that allowed you guys to get so close to the rim? Uh, uh, they were pressuring us, and we knew when they were going to pressure us. They were trying to run me and Pete off the line. Isaiah was hitting some threes, but uh, they were running me and Pete off the line, so we thought we could get to the paint and open some layups that way. Mm -hmm. And Tyler did a really good job of finishing. Ahmad did a really good job. All our big guys were going in the right spots when we were trying to get in the paint. Um, and, th and that opens up every game's, every, everyone else's game as well when they're trying to pressure us off the line. you feel a little bit revitalized after this win tonight? Uh... Yeah. Definitely. Um, especially with that crowd, especially with this team that we played. It was a really good team, really good crowd. Um, it's huge for us to bounce back like this after uh, we had a poor start against Indiana. Uh, but like I said, since we're in the NIT, might as well win it. You talked about that experience. Um, how big is the tournament experience and, and how different is this? Does this feel different than, say, the Big Ten tournament or any other tournament? You guys played in a preseason tournament or anything like that? Yeah, definitely. Um, especially when we play at home, it's a little different, it's a different atmosphere. Um, especially kind of what's on the line. Um, obviously, it's not as, as much as what the NCAA tournament is on the line, but um, it, it, it's going to take every one of us just to try to get to New York, try to win it here. Um, and like I was telling them, it's adding experience to all the younger guys, and it's really helping us out. Um, I mean, we got that, that game under our belt for the Big Ten tournament, so now we know what it's going to be like in the upcoming years that we have to come out right from the start. And it means a lot trying to get a higher seed, um, and that comes with trying to play well in the Big Ten season. Um, so we're all learning here. We're all trying to figure everything out. And, um, it was a big win for, for us tonight after that, after a poor start with Indiana.